Hello! Version 0.4 of Engine Crane has just been released and is available to download on overtake.gg, formerly known as Race Department. For those of you who aren't familiar, I'm the creator of Engine Crane, a mod for Assetto Corsa that allows you to take engines directly from automation and swap them into cars in Assetto Corsa. This release has a heavy focus on solving issues that various people have raised to me on GitHub and here in the YouTube comments. So if there are any changes you'd like to see in future, or bugs you want fixing, let me know and I'll try to help out. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the changes in 0.4. First up, the tool no longer asks for admin rights every time it starts up. Previously, Engine Crane always asked for admin permissions to run. The reason it did this is because quite a few Windows installs are set up so that the regular user that you log in with can't access the program files directory without admin permissions. The simplest solution to this, or so I thought, was to just always ask for admin permissions so that it makes your life easier, so it will always have access. The obvious downside to this approach that I've never liked is that your program needs to be running as admin. I personally don't like running things as admin when they don't need to, and I'm sure there are others who feel uncomfortable with it. The new behavior is to now not ask for admin permissions at startup. The upside of this is that it gives you more control over what runs on admin as your computer. The downside is that it now may not just work for people who don't have admin rights set up so that they can access program files. If anybody wants the old behavior though, you can always just run Engine Crane as an admin and it will behave exactly the same way it did before. Next up is the big change that's in this version. I've now added a new experimental engine crane exporter that you can use directly inside of automation. A lot of issues I've read from people in the comments and, and GitHub all relate to the way that the BeamNG exporter works. As I don't have direct control over how that works, I thought that the best solution was just to write my own, I guess. So hopefully this will streamline the whole engine swap process a little bit. So let's take a look at how things currently work. We build our engine, we put it in a car in automation, use automation's built-in BeamNG exporter, which creates a BeamNG mod for us. And then we can take that mod and either create a crate engine from it or directly swap the engine from it into a car in a set of Corsa. Using the new exporter, this process is simplified a bit. We don't need to worry about BeamNG mods anymore. So we can also forget about the BeamNG exporter and instead, we can use the new custom exporter to export a crate engine directly from inside automation. Technically, Engine Crane has never needed BeamNG mods to work. The only reason that it uses them is because that was the only exporter which comes as part of automation. You can still use the old way of doing it if you want to. This is just a new way you can also do it if you don't want to use BeamNG mods. I think that's enough talking about it. Let's have a look at how this all works. So first things first, we need to download Engine Crane. You have a couple of options for this. Um, I am gonna download it from the GitHub page directly, but by the time this video is up, the latest version will be available on overtake.gg, which is, used to be called Race Department. Just create a new folder for it. So once we've got a download file, we can use 7-zip to extract it. And you'll notice that there are now additional files in the download. So previously we would just have Engine Crane and that's the same as it's always been. But now we've got these additional DLL files which we can use to set up the custom exporter. Um, so the first little change you may have noticed is we now have a little icon with Engine Crane. I thought that looked a little bit more professional, a little better. Uh, but running it is visually similar to before, but the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that it didn't ask for an admin prompt to start. That's the first big change that's made in this version. It no longer requires you to be an admin to run it. When you open the tool without admin rights, you may not be able to read and write in the program files directory. So my Steam library is set up in program files because that's just the default way that Steam likes to do it. Some users 
don't have access to program files. So if your user doesn't have access to program files by default, and that's where your Assetto Corsa installation is found, then you may have problems using Engine Crane when not as admin. That is what you're seeing. So if you open it up and you come to settings and you see a little red cross or the Assetto Corsa path isn't set, you can always open it the same way it used to open with admin permissions, but now you get to choose that yourself. So the easiest way to do that is just right click and run as administrator, and that will work in exactly the same way that it used to. Alternatively, if you want to make that change permanent, you can do that in this little setting down here in the compatibility tab in, pro in properties click run this program as administrator and every time you try to execute it it will run as admin just as the old versions did to set up the new custom exporter for automation we're going to use these new files that we have here in the download so we've got these three dll files and these are the libraries that automation will use to use our new exporter code setting it up to get automation to use it is pretty straightforward we just need to know the directory that automation is in and then move the libraries into there the easiest way to find out where you need to put your exporter plugins is to find your automation game in your steam library right click it go to manage and click on browse local files and in here this will give you the directory that is stored on your disk uh, from there we can go into ue427 automation game content export plugins and this is the directory that you'll need to put the dll files into so as you can see i've already set this up in the past alongside a few other custom exporters that i played around with but all you need to do to set that up simply take your files that you've downloaded we want the three .dll files so c crate engine builder and the two engine crane exporter files and we just need to move them into our export plugins tab and that is now good to go so now we can check that automation has got this set up correctly if we for the time being, because we will need this setting later, let's open Engine Crane, jump to settings, and in the automation exporter, we can choose where it's going to create the crate engines uh, using the exporter in automation. If you want them to be automatically picked up by Engine Crane, then the best place to choose for this is the crate engine path which is set up in the settings tab here so this is the directory that engine crane looks in when it's looking for crate engines a small addition in this new release is this copy button so this will take whatever the value is for that setting so you can see that written here we can copy that to the clipboard so that we can use it later on when we're in automation to tell it where we want to write our crate engines to. Let's try and jump over to the new exporter. Assuming those files have been copied into the export plugins directory, all we need to do to get to it is go to the car designer as normal, choose one of the cars that you've designed, and you'll note that the export car button will change ever so slightly if it's working. So normally that would show a different picture but when you have custom exporters present in the export directory this button will look different so if you see that that's a good sign that means it's probably set up correctly so hit export car in the same way you would if you were using beamng you see on the right here and in this window in general we've got the usual beamng exporter plugin this drop down list will now contain our custom engine crane exporter so if we click on this and the one that we want to configure is the export directory here. 
So that value that we copied previously for the create engine path over here, we can paste that into here with control and V and that chooses the directory where it will write the crate engines to. So as long as this is the same path that engine crate is looking in, we will see any exported engines automatically appear when we've done our export. So we can see in the my engines tab, we've got the three engines that I've created in the past before. Now, when we come back over into the automation game and the exporter window for our new EngineCrane exporter, we can now hit export car. It's quite a bit quicker than BeamNG because it doesn't need to bother with graphics. We'll see that that's now done. All seems fine. We can hit confirm. We jump back into my engines. You won't see it immediately, but if you hit the refresh button and hit the drop down, you'll see the new engine that has been exported from the automation car. And that's everything that's in the new engine crane. If you like what you see, consider giving a thumbs up. There are download links to it in the description below. It's a free mod, not behind any paywalls or anything. But if you'd like to support the work that's gone into it, consider subscribing. That's all for now. My dog will be happy that I'm available for more cuddles after work now that I've got this video out of the way. As for all of you who've made it to the end, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.